What's up everybody? Today we have another epic village tour for you and as I said in my last video, we will be following up with Shattenfall's ex to tour his incredible medieval village. Now this thing has this incredible castle. The details yet again it will knock your socks off. He has a church and so many other different points of interest. You can kind of see what's going on in the inside there, but I don't want to spoil too much. There's also a tavern where you can sit down and have some drinks as well as a sauna and a dungeon for all those naughty folks that visit this village. Stick around, you are in for a treat. Hi Eskins, it's great to have you here. Um, this is my um, OG free build village. Um, I started it like um, three months ago when the um, Lion Castle set came out. And I wanted to have a challenge like make my first um, free build village um, in survival. Dude, this is, already <laughs> this is already looking awesome. I love how you if have you this water exposed here, this walkway. This is really nice. Yeah, if you look here, um, the basic idea of this castle was to showcase the four ancient elements like air, water, fire and earth, which medieval scientists uh, thought um, the world would consist of. And when I enter the Frostlands, it's always such a such a fresh feeling to be in virtually, of course, but um, you see the fireplace, you see um, the vast amount of space. I did not um, raise the walls too high, and I also want to make the walls on the side somewhat mm, like not transparent, but that you can see through the um, arch and um, look at this, uh, look at the sea, look at the lake. And um, we can start off with the first um, element. And this is, of course, the fireplace, like the up here. Um, you can see this little tree. And three months ago, I did not know that we can delete trees <laughs> with a shovel. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I, all this place, the whole garden and the forge below is just because of this tree. Accidents. Like building is 90% destroying and 10% building. Absolutely. And um, now we go to the um, water place which is one of my favorite pr places in the whole village, actually, because it's, it's, it has such a peaceful and chill vibe. Like, even in Frostland Village, um, no skeletons will attack you here, and, and I did a lot of fishing here. I always came here when I did not know how to continue with building or run out of it. I ideas, did some fishing here, uh, just hang out. And here's my, also my bed, like, pretty simple, pretty down to earth uh, actually and, and it's just when i wake up here or I die to a whatever brute or something it's always chill to wake up here and and the tilt is gone <laughs> <laughs> and i came yeah. up with this solution i make make uh, made a little um finished sauna here oh this is nice that you can <laughs> i've never seen anyone doing a sauna but it's so nice like we are in the frostlands and the tough guys uh, sit on top in the sauna, of course. So you, I just made a bank, uh, like a bench on top, and a little oven and a little shower. Nothing too special, but just a nice little place. And place. Of, uh, yeah, and it's just a little dungeon. And when I designed this dungeon, I watched uh, a video before, and what it was so clickbait. So I designed a l this as a little place in my castle for clickbait YouTubers, which are really annoying. <laughs> the worst things on That's this planet. <laughs> that is perfect. Oh, I love it. It, it gives me. It's reminded me of Long Tom's village where he locked me up. So yeah. I'm getting flashbacks to that that tour. I'm getting scared. Can we get out of here? <laughs> yeah, we can. We can. And we have a nice little um, nightly medieval family friendly interrogation area. This place, I had some virtual um, disputes with um, the pricing manager, with the pricing <laughs> on the Lego sets, but. Um, yeah, we uh, <laughs> had some constructive <laughs> argument on here. <laughs> oh man, this and is he agreed, perfect. And he agreed with me that these sets are much too overpriced and pretty much a prohibitive price. Like this is economy, economy. I am and so I excited. Uh, so I'm excited to see everything you have here, but I'm looking up at this castle over here on the hill. I yeah. am extra excited to see that. That looks so good, Wait. man. We, we actually we forgot something we have to go oh back. no did we? we have a nice little <laughs> kitchen here it's all functional pretty much it's a survival village and we have your we have your bed here like i made this room after you invited me and if you like i also can give you a little um banner like what's your favorite uh line knight's castle banner okay then it's perfect 
Beautiful. What a great host. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's signed by Haskins. That's nice. All right. So, um, jump tunnel. Just have to jump. Um, oh, nice. Exactly up here. And it, it looks a little bit girly like it should. Um, it was it's supposed to be a um, mage's tower, but. <laughs> yeah, it's like alchemist's the, the area or something. Like, yeah. yeah, this um, is nice the, though. The, the decorations are a little bit childish, but I use them anyway. And, hey, you um, got you gotta have something like this in the builds, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Got to change it up in some areas, yeah. especially up that jump tower. This is nice. Yeah, and and this uh, this jump tower, I liked it so much, but um, I made some improvements. Let's go down here. And um, um, this is the second building of the village that I did, um, it was when these um, mechanical mayhem came out. And um, this is, is the Yeti's house, because the Yeti is, oh, he's sleeping here. Uh, it's my favorite, like, it's my favorite. It's such a well-designed, uh, it, it looks, it just looks better, better than the um, original skin in the Lego version. Here we have a, oops, I turn off the light for a second. Here you can see my first attempt um, flipping uh, floors to the ceiling. Um, if you look up, you can see that these um, ceilings don't have these uh, yeah, ugly dots anymore. So I covered them with um, flipped floors. Like this was my first attempt and I was so happy about it that I couldn't stop flipping some things because you just, yeah, basically you just unlock more pieces. If you can flip pieces, you have more pieces because you have different shapes or countering shapes to other pieces and um, this gives you a lot of more from um, Tekken Castle, which is my ice castle, my ice palace, so to speak. And when I built these walls and these stairs and lights on it, I hit extremely high complexity. Like all these lights and a lot of stairs, a lot of shadows, th these are all high complexity pushers in my opinion. And as you can see here, um, also, I try to integrate the snow, like if you come up here, it's, it's a really cold castle. If you look up, um, it's, it's, it's demanding respect, like you have to gaze up and, and this is the way it's meant to be um, designed. You constantly you have to, yeah, look up. Oh, wow. Approach my tro throne. Um, this is what I wanted to have. When I looked from the... Um, village up to these icy balls i think they look so nice and if you if you light uh, light them up correctly you can see it's a little bit yellow and a little bit green in there and you can have a seat here of course take a seat and look around if you like i feel like i can uh, tell as we progressed things just got better and better and better and then you get here and it's like whoa like the design elements and the choice and the symmetry that you've done with the pillars and the stairs yeah. and the throne and everything coming together with the uh the way that you've done the the ceiling and the lighting being hidden above the ceiling it's just so it's masterful it really is yeah. thanks a lot like this is a perfect example you, you remember the um jump tower in the um in the mages tower um, yeah. This is not fully covered, but as you can see, you don't have to jump anymore. You just have to W key in or press forward, and you get yeah, you get a clean bounce out of it, and you don't have to stay uh, take these um, annoying stairs anymore. And you save you save room in towers. You you save a lot of you save a lot of space. I mean, um, same here. You can just go up. Wait, I'm <laughs> too early. And also we can have a nice view on the um, building that we... Um, here we have a second forge, like our big forge. Um, and also a lot of the stuff is inspired by music. Like I, I'm, I'm a big fan of classical music. And um, for these builds I listen to a lot of um, Bruckner, Wagner and all the heavy stuff, uh, so to speak, like, like the really crazy stuff and um, it influences me a lot like it helps with becoming creative but, uh, but also to get really um, creative um, we have our bathroom here I changed the atmosphere from the first floor to here a little bit it's more like a mythic heavenly godly atmosphere here um, and I mostly when I design some stuff I always forget the bathroom because who cares who really cares about the bathroom and um, not in this case, I really wanted to have one in this. And here we have um, the temple hall, I guess. And um, 
again, this this room may be um, the most inspired by music thing, like uh, the Requiem of the French composer Fauré. Um, when I listen to this, like I just build it. I listen to the music and I build it, and it, it just came from alone. <laughs> if you <laughs> look up, it, it, it has this like um, feel of eternity. That's what it's meant to be. Like it's not. It's about. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it's about life and death. This room. A little higher. We have another jump door. And um, yeah, this is. We are on top of the largest tower. And um, I really, I, w I really was struggling, uh, struggling with this tower. I did not know how to make it. Like I want to make a complex structure. If you, if you go into this wall right here. In in this corner. And and have a, you can have a great uh, first person view on it. How it's meant to be viewed. Wow. I'm doing like a slow pan from right yeah. to left. Unbelievable. And this is a nice little garden. Um, I had to figure out what to do with the um, cutout in the roof. And I wanted to have a garden L after all these crazy stuff with these uh, the forge and and the this, the tower from my dream and all this stuff. <laughs> like I want to ha I wanted to have a nice little place, and um, the idea behind um, this is like the heat from the um, fireplace down below um, comes through the cutout and warms the water around it, so a garden is possible. So you have in the Iceland a little bit of warmth and humidity. And I think, like, in Old Greek, they had similar concepts like this on some of their um, buildings. Um, and this is, this is like, yeah, a nice place. When I, when I, I was finished with the garden, um, I was finished with the castle, and I sat down here and chilled, like, for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like, that extremely high complexity area in, in this area struck. Um, I wanted to have, like I had a tavern for my medieval village, but no church. And uh, it, it seemed wrong, like from a historic um, standpoint. So I made a, made a, made this little church. It just needs it like, um, to be calm and, and relaxed. Because if you, if you force it, like most likely it won't uh, be able to work out. Exactly. Wow, this is, oh, this is so nice. Again, it's pretty simple, but um, focused on details, focused on proportion. It feels so realistic in here. Like, wow. Flipped ceilings, or flipped floor pieces again up there. Very nice. Yeah, a little bit, but um, just just these, um, and the I think the fences on the right, I flipped two. I could not, um, like the last uh, bit of fence, I could not put it because of extremely high complexity. Um, also, I would love to ha add some more benches and a little bit of stuff here in the corners. But it's not it's not that bad, like the, all the basic stuff in here is done. Because this is, this is also a place that I wanted to have, like a chill outside area. Um, where I use the natural scenery, nice. something that I also always recommend is j don't destroy natural um, decorations like this little um, plants here. Only if you really have to, of course, if a tree is bugging through your roof, of course, and then destroy it. But I see a lot of people just destroying everything before they even start to build. And I think these little um, natural decorations just work out great. We have the tavern here, like it's, it's, uh, it has two stories. Like the first um, floor here is more, yeah, the down to earth, like for the regular dude who comes into here after work for a beer or some. And um, the upper floor is a little bit more festive. And also, I try, I always try to create like some little interesting corners in my architecture to not make it look too bland. Like these little um, corners, it's, it just adds to every building, I think, if you not make 
just only build squares, of course. We have a nice yeah. little festive area uh, for parties and dinners or whatever. And as you can see here, all the um, ceiling is flipped. And not only flipped, but also I tried to create a little round structure here. And um, yeah, that was pretty hard to make because I was pretty inexperienced with the technique. But again, it worked out. And if you if you manage to do something like this, you're really motivated to try it again. And you also get better with it. And um, yeah, that's just nice feeling to have, like to improve while you're building. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're too drunk, you get out here and there's a nice soft little bush to fall into. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I love how you have the broken piece still right there. That's so nice. It's never, never, ever happened to me, of course. What? Sorry. <laughs> if you enjoyed these builds and you missed out on the Star Wars tour, make sure you check this one out. I'm going to link the video down in the description. Special shout out to Shattenfels X again for giving us a tour. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss another video again. Thanks again for tuning in. Haskins is going to be signing out. I'll catch you all in the next one.